Well, we're headed to get my 2021 buck. It's actually my 2021 archery buck, but it's actually rifle season right now. Um, I've been carrying my bow most of the season. Uh, just not gonna have a lot of time to hunt uh, during archery this year, and we got a bunch of tags. We decided to get mama tag this year, so it limited the amount of tags down to five again. This today got out here. Um, it just started raining this afternoon, so I figured it was gonna be pretty good. And with the with the rain, I figured I'd be able to probably get in close uh, without making a lot of noise. So I carry my bow and um, got. I uh, spooked out a few does early on in the loop I was doing and then got into a little ravine that I know these deer kind of feed in and looked down in the draw and there was a three point buck uh, feeding at 55 yards. And uh, there's a maple tree down where I figured it was about 40 yards. So I figured if I get to that, I'd have a little bit better shot. So I snuck down, snuck down and got in front of that and ended up being a 38 yard shot. So he ran about another 30, 35 yards and died. So. Uh, headed to get them right now. So that concludes who's my hunt for the year, and we got five R2 tags that'll be opened up here in about a month. Orn and Wyatt are up in their stand still right now. Um, they haven't had much action today, but uh, there's some pretty big bucks up in their areas, so hopefully they can come in and get a shot at them. Wraps up day one. We got a spike in there at the end. We thought he was a stud rutting up that doe, but no bucks for me today. Just a bunch of resident does. So hopefully tomorrow picks up. Brett got one down. Doesn't sound like anyone else is gonna get one down, but hopefully we can get another one tomorrow or maybe two or you know, take it one day at a time. See what happens. Spike come in, and then I had there's 
There's an average 3x4. He's about the size of bucket I've shot the last three years. He came in, and I contemplated shooting him, but uh, I opted against it because that big one's up here somewhere. Well, he's a pretty nice 3x4, actually. I almost regretted it when I saw him walking away from behind. But this weekend, I'm holding out for the big one. We got the giant. That's the one I've been after. Oh, no way. He's dead. He's right here. I want to go put my hands on him. But I, long cold sit. Long cold sit. I about tons of different deer coming in. Tons of different deer throughout the day. And uh, 
about 20 minutes ago, this fork and horn came off this hillside behind me. He came in, fed around a little bit. He started moving out. A doe and fawn worked over here to the right. They were coming in, and then I heard brush back here. I looked back up on the hill. I looked back up on the hill up here, and I could tell it was a big body deer. And I was like, that's him. I know that's him. He came right down, 20, 20 yards shot, and we hammered him. He's dead. He died right there. Oh, he was quartered two, and I just put it straight through his front shoulder. He's dead right there. He's dead right there. Are you kidding me? One of the cooler things about this buck is Dad uh, missed him three years ago. I don't know if that's actually cooler, but it's probably not very cool for Dad, but it's kind of cool for me because look what he turned into. But uh, I don't know. Dad had just one of those moments. Not really sure what it was, but he woofed it on accident and well this deer lived another three years and he died today so it's funny those those stories you never really know are in the making that are in the making as you make up a as you make a big flub but uh, yeah so i gotta i gotta honestly thank dad a little bit This is where my arrow ended up, is about a 28, 30 yard shot. Um, kind of quartering, he was headed away and kind of quartered and stood and looked at me. And um, I felt good with the shot. I, I tried to anchor just 
just behind that that crease a bit i might have tucked the crease a little bit too much but and uh, through and through we looked at the video footage and it looks like it's going to be good it's a, maybe a little low we're going to go ahead and take a take a peek and see if we can't find him Last night, we, he was a hard quarter. Um, honestly, we checked footage after we got in last night, but uh, he was a hard quarter. Um, I thought he was a little bit more um, broadside. It turns out um, we got um, left lung and out the brisket. Um, I got on the blood trail. The blood trail was thick. It was just, it was never, never stopped going. And um, pretty, Pretty solid blood trail blowing. We were seeing chunks of lung, so we knew we had a good hit, fatal hit. And so we figured we'd get up in the morning when it was light and come out and found him. And from last blood, where we left off last blood, he was about 50, 60 yards from that. And um, I couldn't be happier. Um, you know, it makes those nights long, but we knew we had a fatal hit, so we were going to look today till we found him. It was just a matter of time, thick stuff, and um, opened up into this, this little timber patch. And, um, here he sits. Mama. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and then uh, he just slowly walked in, but then he walked around this thing. 
And then he kind of, I don't remember what way he spun, but he finally ended up turning and my heart was beating out of my chest. I was like, oh my God, just do a good shot, do everything right. Because <laughs> I don't want to look for him. And so I pulled back and I literally was like, okay, that pin, the right pins on him, it's balanced. I literally went through everything in my head and then I released and went, and then he just slowly walked over there and I was like, so I grabbed another arrow. I thought of Wyatt and I'm like, oh God, I got another arrow on. So I grabbed another arrow and put another arrow in. Red even said, mom, put another arrow in. And then I said, did I miss him? Cause he was just walking. And then he t started to sway and stumble. And then he tipped over and fell in that briar bush right there. And I was like, oh my God, he died. <laughs> my I was so excited. Yeah, they didn't know where you were. It was Good just deal. Did you get most of the picture already? Yeah. I'm one of everybody. I know. Yeah. yeah.